Hello and welcome back to my channel. You're with Paula from Scrappy Facts and Moxie Mojo. About a month ago, a friend of mine, Emily from Emmy Femora's Treasures, did a video about an unboxing for BB Craft. And during that video, she mentioned that BB Craft have a YouTube cooperation program where you can get free products by doing videos. So this sounded like a good idea to me, so I did some research um, because I wanted to check A, if I was eligible, B, if they shipped to New Zealand, and C, what kind of goods did they have and would I actually use them in my crafting. So I had a look at the website and saw that they have a huge range of products, which I thought was really impressive. Um, so I thought, okay, well, let's go find out if they ship to New Zealand. So I went through and did the application for the YouTube cooperation program. And lo and behold, within a couple of hours, um, when I thought was expecting a couple of days, I got an email back to say, welcome, please set up an account um, and let us know what you would like to order. So that's what I've done. Now I received this parcel yesterday, so it did take a wee bit of time to get here, but then to be honest, freight from anywhere around the world does always take a while to get to New Zealand. But understandably, it was probably a little bit slower than what would the norm would be, given the restrictions around um, travel and movement of goods and services um, with the COVID situation at the moment. I know certainly here in New Zealand, our border controls are very strict, um, but we're still getting goods in, but it is taking quite a bit longer. But nonetheless, it's arrived. I have opened the package, um, just because that can take a little bit longer. So we've taken it out of the bag, and I've removed a fair bit of tape off the wrapping um, prior to now, but I haven't um, completely unwrapped everything because I wanted to do it in front of you so you could see everything as I open it. So there should only be a little bit left of packing tape to do and then we can have a look. So excuse the noise, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, yes I know I could just cut the sellotape but I am one of those people who saves the wrapping paper, saves all the bubble wrap. Um, Christmas time, I'm an absolute nightmare because I like to recycle all the wrapping paper, especially if there's like tissue paper. Um, so yes, I always open my presents carefully and slowly to preserve everything. So let's have a look at all our goodies. That over there right so we've got four different things here um, and we'll have a look at them so we'll start off with this now this is something that I have been wanting to get for years and I have been looking for absolute years to get here in New Zealand and I haven't been able to get them at what I consider to be a reasonable price. So that's been the big issue. And the other issue is I haven't been able to get um, designs that I want that are different. And so what I've got, finally, let's put that up the right way, is a wax sealing stamp. And I picked this one because I absolutely love it and the fact that it is an open book. So I thought that'll be perfect for in journals. So the head is, I think, about an inch, but let's double check that. 
Yep, so it's an inch wide, inch in diameter, which is probably the normal um, or standard size for a lot of the wax heads. Um, nice and firm. Yep, I can unscrew the handle. So that is good, means I can always use that same handle on other heads or stamp heads. Um, nice solid um, brass, I think it is. And nice clean engraving. So I look forward to giving this a go. So we'll put that back in there. Um, the one thing I did have a look was I couldn't see any um, waxes from BB Craft, but they did have a huge selection of the stamps, so I am going to have to find somewhere else to find the waxes. Alright, so the next thing, and I'm going to need, let's just get a craft knife to very carefully open this up. Put that there out the way. And this was, or is, a pack of um, silver Tibetan charms. And they are in a oceanic theme. So it comes all in the um, package. So let's have a look at some of these charms. I'll show you these. So there are 15 different styles of charms in here. And there's a total of 90 pieces in the pack. So there's conch shells, starfish, turtle, crocodile, oops, put them up the right way, crab, there's another fish, mermaid, different type of shell, angelfish, that's another conch shell I think, octopus, the whale tail, dolphin, um, lobster or crayfish is what we call them here, and a seahorse and they've all got the little wee loops except for the whale tail and that has the loop built into it rather than like a, a loop at the top for instance as the dolphins got but they all look absolutely gorgeous and I have a couple of projects in mind for these already that um, I'm looking forward to using these in now this is something that I have also been looking for for multiple years. Um, now I'm not sure what everyone calls them, but I'm not, I know them as um, ribbon clamps or ribbon ends. I think they, yeah, ribbon clamp ends. Aha! Uh -huh, so there we go. So, right, we're going to try this one again. So what I when I when this when I opened this, all of these were in little wee bags like this. So it was um, impossible to see what everything was. So I've off camera taken everything out of the bags and rearranged it. Now this. The way I've rearranged it sort of suits me. You, if you wanted to get this product or a similar similar one, might want to rearrange it slightly differently. So I've done it by size with the four different colorways. Then I've gone to the next size, the next size, etc., etc. So the four start off. The four colors are gold silver, antique bronze, and platinum. Um, so gold is like a, quite a shiny gold. Though one thing I did notice on some of the gold pieces, and I'll bring it up to, up to 
here so hopefully you can see is there is some tarnishing on them but for my purposes I don't mind because I like the distressed look but that is just something I noticed it's only on maybe two or three pieces that I saw as I was going through um, but that was just something I noticed on those um, so that is once again gold silver bronze platinum and then there are um, six different sizes so we've got the eight millimeter actually the if I do it in the bronze, 8mm, 10mm, I think the bronze will stand out better so you can see them because it's that little bit darker. So 8, 10, 12, 15, 25, uh, no 20 and 25. I'll lift those up okay so the six sizes once again eight millimeter ten millimeter twelve millimeter fifteen millimeter twenty millimeter and twenty five and that's in all four colors the only problem I did see on opening them is that I don't have a silver in the 25 I've got two bags of silver in the 20 millimeter so that I will contact BB craft just to follow up with them although they may need to go back to the actual manufacturer of these products um, to follow up and get a replacement but certainly everything comes pre-bagged like that so you can easily see which one the um, as we saw it was all sellotaped shut um, so there was no chance of the product all falling out and getting mixed up the one thing i would recommend is that you as as you get a box like this with everything in their bags sort out the order that you want them to go in before taking them out of the bags because I struggled having a, upended some of the bags to then take them out and rearrange them um, because I was very aware of the sharp claws on them that I didn't want to dig into my fingers um, but really looking forward to giving these a go um, one thing I that another thing I did notice was I saw one and I think it might have been it was either of the two sizes where one of the clamps was closed it could have just been pressure and shipping I should be able to open it up and use it um, but there was only the one I did see so seal that all up so they are all ready to go whoops put away that one there that was in the 20 mil size so we've got those now and the last thing that I received um, was this Now this is something that I have been looking for and I have looked for. I, I did have a set of jewellery pliers already. Um, but in my old studio they actually were in a metal pencil case and they've all started to rust. So I was specifically looking for a set that came in a container to keep them protected and I saw this one and thought it was ideal so it comes with the um, now let's get them right so there's a side cutting plier there is a 
Uh, of course, I haven't taken them out of the container yet. So that's the um, long nose plier. Oh, no, round nose plier, sorry. There is the long nose plier, and then there is um, scissors. What's it called? Scissor repair tool, um, which is quite sharp. And they come in the zip up portable case. So this I I think is ideal for keeping everything A in the one place so that you don't lose it. Um, and B stored in a way that I'm not gonna have um, a problem with them rusting like I did in the old storage system. The other thing that I noticed and why I picked them was that um, they are made from, and I'll let me get this right, from carbon steel. They've got a PVC coating so that um, it is comfortable to hold on to. And they're a nice small size um, because I've got quite small hands and a very short, you know, short finger. So I struggle sometimes and certainly with some scissors to get my hands around them, but that um, is nice. I'm not having to overstretch, so that's a good deal. And the other thing that I liked was there's a 48 day money back and 24 month warranty on these. So if there's any problems for manufacture and they fall apart, then I know that I can return them. I don't anticipate seeing them, but given they are a tool that I'm going to use over and over again, that to me is the sign of a good product that they are prepared and come with a warranty. So that's the product. So we'll just have a, another wee look. So we've got the charms. We've got the set of um, pliers. We have the stamp, ceiling stamp, and the ribbon clamps. So I'm looking forward to creating using all of these products. Um, so be sure to come back and see what it is that I create. So remember, if you are interested in joining, um, I will have the link for the website for BB Craft down in the description box. I will also link to their YouTube cooperation program. Now their BB Craft YouTube cooperation program, you can get free products just by doing videos for on YouTube. You only need to have a minimum of 100 subscribers to be eligible for the program. If you're interested, as I said, there will be a link below in the description box um, to contact them and very simple process just fill out a form and you will be contacted back by return email you too can get some of these amazing products to try in your crafting um, and so be sure to give it a go i'm looking forward to trying out all of these um, now that they've arrived here so watch this space to see what I create with them. Many thanks and we'll look for you again soon.